Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Straight Killer 369 coming back at you. We got a brand new black market update. We got some new themes, body themes, some new gestures. Uh, I'm not for sure if there's some new camos. I really don't get into all that. So we want to get into the nitty gritty, which is the weapons. Um, we don't have any um, brand new ranged weapons per se, but we do have two new melee weapons, which I'm sure you're all thinking, God, that's exactly what we needed was more melee weapons. And noobs running around with melee weapons <laughs> you know we got the gloves just as most recently everybody did so you see all these guys running around with gloves and stuff and um yeah but it is what it is folks um two of the actual melee weapons are weapons that i hadn't projected and uh, predicted that would be into uh that would come into play here um if y'all remember a video i did spoke about the possibility of certain weapons of what they would be um from a leaked list that actually came out months upon months ago. So far, most of it's been uh, correct. And uh, these are two uh, melee weapons that actually were on that list. And the first weapon, we'll go ahead and put up on the screen, is the katana. As you can see, the katana, it's a sword. I guess it's more like kind of like a Chinese or Japanese type of uh, fighting sword. It's cool looking. Um, I almost think it looks better than the Fury song. Um, I haven't got lucky enough to get it. Le leave me a comment down below and let, uh, let me know if you guys have been lucky enough to get it out of the uh, supply drop or not. Um, I think it... Uh, it's just another melee weapon, you know, something for them to uh, try to make money off of cob points, people buying cob points, you know, and like I'll tell you all guys, if you all want to get all the DLC weapons, I mean uh, supply drop weapons, as it were, um, you know, I, I would tell you all not to buy cob points. I personally have never bought cob points. I think I actually got like 2400 cob points though for pre-ordering um, Infinite Warfare, the digital deluxe edition off of uh, the PlayStation Network, which was pretty cool. But uh, yeah, just don't buy the cob points, you know what I'm saying, and, and help this multi-billion dollar company become even richer. So that way maybe in the future they'll stop doing these supply drops like this so that way people who buy the season pass you know get access to these weapons because that should ha that that's how it should be you know we spent an extra fifty dollars on top of the sixty plus for the game you definitely shouldn't have to put any more money into the game to be able to enjoy it and uh, even though most of these weapons aren't OP you know you shouldn't have to do that um, also guys this is some really good gameplay here I'm using a shotgun <clears throat> the only reason I'm actually using the shotgun on this map is because I uh, was doing the shotgun, the kills to get in the calling card, the black market calling card kills with it. I think it's like either 600 or 650 at the shotgun. Um, I end up going, I think it's like 67 and 3 on the hunted of all maps with the shotgun. It's a breshy, so uh, yeah, be sure to check out the rest of the video. And uh, the last uh, melee weapon. Uh, they added, which is the second one they added uh, in this uh, supply drop update. Damn it, Dark! You got my way and made me fall off the map. <laughs> uh, it is what it is. Maybe I got in his way. Who knows? But uh, the second weapon is another weapon that I predict that would come. It's actually a shovel in the shape of the Ace of Spades. And in fact, that is the name of the melee weapon, the Ace of Spades. Let me throw that one up right here. You guys can see why it gets its name. The actual shovel head is shaped like the Ace of Spades symbol. Um, I guess it would sound pretty cool whacking someone across the face at the back of the head with the shovel and make that hollow uh, metal aluminum sound. Whap! <laughs> but uh, yeah, I haven't got it either. Um, I'm still trying to get the MX Grand. I finally got the Shadow Claw the other day, but uh, I haven't got the MX Grand or the Peacekeeper, which everybody else seems to have, or the, I think it's the Ajax R70, the LMG. And I think I need a couple more melee weapons like the Skull Splitter and something else. But um, if you're wondering, guys, when I ran by, I did see him in the corner, but he was inactive. So I did not worry about him at first. I wanted to check the spawns. I knew the spawn had flipped. But anyways, guys, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about the two melee, new melee weapons. And um, maybe some other ga uh, actual ranged weapons that you would like to see come into uh, Black Ops 3 added. Or maybe some uh, weapons that you'd like to see uh, added into Infinite Warfare. And this is, uh, you know, just another video I'm trying to bring y'all to keep you up to date on uh, the most recent updates in the game. 
and if you like the video don't forget to throw a like down there and you new guys don't forget to subscribe and I hope you all have a great day and this has been straight killer 369 and I'm out Thank you.